What's up, people? And today I have an electric meter socket replacement. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna call your power company and have them cut the wires from the roof or underground or whatever. So now you're gonna wear electrical gloves. You're going to take the meter ring or just take the cover off if you have a uh, ringless type meter socket, which are more common than ring type. Remove this. And pull on your meter, pull it out. Now if you have your power cut off and it still has a seal, when you break the seal on your meter socket, make sure to keep the seal right there. I don't know if you can see it says seal. Make sure to keep that intact because that's the manufacturer's seal on the meter. You can take your stick tester, I don't know what this is called, but like that, no power. You can remove your electrical gloves. Now the reason why we're replacing this is see this right here, that separation. Here I'll um you hear that how it gives you resistance. See this just just does that. So that has a separation. See it, it looks like that usually. I don't know if you can see that. And that is separated. And when there's separation like that will cause heat, which then indeed will turn into a fire, so a wire nut. It's really unsafe. Let's take all this out. I, know, I, should, I should just cut the wires, but I'll do it this way. You can see there is no connector on the bottom, so we'll be needing to put a new one in. So take that and take these, which we will be needing to save these wires. They go into the box. Now take your drill, remove the screws. And pull that away. Now take your new leader socket. These is 100 amp round type, this is what they're called. You can get them on a website called Austin International for $8. They sell to utility companies and yeah. So first what you're going to do is bend that down. You're going to want to find the holes that match up. So you just move that around. And then find two holes that will match up. There, those are the old holes. Stick that in. There. Crap, it's already on four minutes. I bet I'm gonna just run out of memory soon. Do it fast. Or yeah. Very secure. Take your Romex connector, one inch. You don't really need this on this type meter socket. That is. Tighten it in.
getting it any further. Okay. So after you have that, feed your old wire in. Also, take one of these. This will be, the wire will come down and loop around so it will be a bottom fed type. Twist one of those, it's a cap. Okay. Get you get your uh, new wires in, which that will be not not long enough to uh, connect. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a wire nut there and have it grounding the box. So this is going to be a 110 volt circuit, which I like to do is put my black on the left side. Wait on the right. Maybe I can get a little more slack on this ground. Okay, I'll wrap around the screw. And then I'll show you part two. Thanks for watching part one.